Welcome back students. I am your geography teacher Vandana Joshi and you are watching SST Joe. Students, the growth of vegetation depends upon several factors like temperature, rainfall, climate, sunlight, altitudes and many more about which we have already studied in our previous chapters of unit climate. These factors play an important role in the life of natural vegetation. Students, to know more about this, today we are going to study another new chapter which is natural vegetation. This chapter includes the different type of vegetation and wildlife in India. As we know, India is a country of diversity and this Diversity reflects in the vegetation and the wildlife too. So, what is natural vegetation? The natural vegetation refers to a plant community that has been left undestructed over a long time so as to allow its individual species to adapt themselves to climate and soil conditions as fully as possible. Or in another words, we can say the natural vegetation includes that part of plant life which grows in wild without human aids and adapts to the concentrate of natural environment in size, structure and environment. It also can be included as virgin vegetation, which is the part of the natural vegetation which has remained undisturbed by the human beings. The natural vegetation is found in mountain regions, deserts and delta regions. These are inaccessible parts. As we know, India is a land of great variety of natural vegetation. On the basis of types of vegetation and climatic reasons, it can be divided or classified into five categories. The number one is tropical evergreen and semi-evergreen forest. Number two is tropical deciduous forest. Number three is tropical throne forest. Number 4 the mountain forest and number 5 is littoral and sun forest. So let's look the main features and characteristics of these types of forest. So first of all the tropical evergreen and semi evergreen forest. These forests are found in the areas where more than 200 cm rainfall occurs. These areas are Western Ghats, Northeastern Hills and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The trees reach great heights up to 60 m. These forests appear green all over the year. The trees are rosewood, mahogany, ebony, etc. If we talk about the semi evergreen, the same year of green are found in the areas where the rainfall is about 150 to 200 cm. Such forests have a mixture of evergreen and moist deciduous forest. The trees are hollow and pale. Mahogany, kampur, rosewood are grown in the tropical and semi evergreen forest. Now what are the tropical deciduous forest? The tropical deciduous forest are also called monsoon forest. These are found in the areas which receives rainfall between 70 cm to 200 cm. They are of two types. First one is moist and second one is dry deciduous. The moist deciduous forests are found in areas where 100 to 200 centimeter rainfall occurs. These areas are foothills of Himalayas, eastern slopes of Western Ghat and Odisha. The trees are teak, sal, sesham, sandalwood, amla, 
kusum and mahua if we talk about the dry deciduous forest these are found where the rainfall ranges between 70 to 100 cm these are found in the peninsula and uttar pradesh and bihar these forests shade their leaves in dry season tendu palash amaltas bel khair etc are the common trees in the dry deciduous areas number 3 is the thorn or we can say the desert forest these forests occur in areas which have less than 75 cm rainfall annually they are found in the interior part of the deccan plateau in andhra pradesh karnataka as well as in maharashtra rajasthan and gujarat the commonly found trees in these forest are short stunt and scattered bushes beside babool and cactus trees different shrubs and grasses are commonly grown in between these trees bed wild date palm khair neem are also some important trees are in the desert or the tropical thorn forest another important type of forest is a montane forest in montane areas these forests are found these are classified into two types of categories that is northern mountain forest and the southern mountain forest let's see a short video clip to know more about the montane type of forest The fifth type of forest is the littoral or the swampy forest. So what are these and where these we can found? The area of Ganga Brahmaputra Delta means the Sundarban Delta. It is a swampy or we can say the wet area which is full of these type of forest. These forest are also known as the mangrove forest. So what are the specialty and the characteristics of these mangrove forest so let's see the area of sundarban is a world's most fertile area which includes few features like flood plains natural embankments meanders and oxbow lakes these are the common features in these plains vegetation of these areas is also known as the tidal vegetation which is included the mangrove forest these tidal forest are found as i already told you in the ganga brahmaputra delta region and the main trees are the sundari trees in the mangrove forest these tidal or the mangrove forest are also known as the deltic forest these forest are basically found in the delta of ganga brahmaputra delta of mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri these are marshy areas and because of that marshy areas these are full of the mangrove trees or we can say a kind of trees which are grown in the swampy land to the different variation in the natural vegetation 
India is also home of the different type of wildlife species. So we will study more about the natural vegetation and the wildlife of India in our next part of this video. So for that keep watching SST Jodh.